Hi guys, David Norman here, Discover Battery. I'm with Jason Andrade from West Coast Sustainables. We're at his uh, workshop here outside Redding, California. We just finished an installation today with some uh, Discover Advanced Energy lithium batteries. Um, wanted to talk to you a bit about, you know, the, the comms. At Discover, we, we like to talk a lot about the ability to connect batteries to the inverters, but fundamentally they're replacing a lead-acid battery. Mm. Um, you know, what are your requirements in terms of switching to lithium and in, in terms of uh, you know how they have to work as a lead acid replacement mm -hmm. you know like anything I think there's levels I think it depends on the customer some people just don't have the ability to really understand what they're seeing um, and so I think that what we'll, I look for is the ability if they want me to and they have internet what's nice about the comms is to, the ability to either run them as a standard standalone or simply just plug into comms so that we can force all that data to the internet. What this allows me is it allows me to monitor my, my customer's system and make sure that there's not any issues or see what's happening, especially with the AES battery, having multiple temperature sensors and with the BMS having so much data, we can really see what's going on internally to kind of catch an issue before it has anything, any kind of cat cataclysmic problems you know it's it's a more of a preventative if anything to make sure that everybody's you know doing okay so when we first hooked this up and while we were getting the cat5 cables you know fabbed and mm -hmm. that kind of thing we were running this in off-grid mode uh, in terms of these batteries as an open loop communication mode with mm -hmm. no comms in terms of the batteries in that operation what are the requirements of a lithium battery from your mind that's not comms connected you know, the biggest thing that we're looking for is just safety factor. Um, it needs to be, be able to very easily work with standard off-the-shelf charge controllers. I mean, we really have a few manufacturers that we really work the most. And really, it's just us understanding what the voltage parameters are. Because if we're not going to have the comms involved, we need to be able to make sure that we can set the hardware up to provide the proper charging algorithm so that we can you know, have a prolonged run life. Now... As far as the conversion to once we connected comms, interconnected the batteries and then ran them up to the uh, Xantrex inverters. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you've done lots of installs. Mm -hmm. What did you think in terms of overall burden to the system uh, from doing that and adding that feature? I think it was great. I mean, it auto-populated everything that needed to happen with the with the SCP to the batteries. I think the only thing that we really need to be careful of is just making sure that all of the equipment downhill is able to provide all of the power that we're going to need to properly uh, charge the batteries and not straining the equipment. But once you've kind of done that, you're good to go. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, again, West Coast Sustainables, Jason Andrade, one of the top installers in the business. I'm David Norman from Discover Battery, and we're going to wrap this up.